Emerald Crossview, Emerald Crossview, I want to be reassigned to a new ship. People are upset at me for causing that fight over Sarah and Topaz. Apparently now my name is Mud. Why should they be mad at you? Those silly Topaz crazed weirdos. Yeah, they are weirdos. You know what? You don't need to be reassigned to a new ship. You just need to get rid of them. You see that little button in front of you? Just push it and you'll be sealed into that room and everyone else will be sucked out into the void. I... I don't know. That seems a little harsh. Don't you think? No! It's not harsh at all! Push it! Uh... Come on! Fight for yourself! Push that button! Don't do it, Commander Leah! My evil duplicate is trying to trick you again. Oh, thank goodness! <sighs> I mean... They are all weirdos, but I don't think that I could have sucked them out into the void just because of that. Why do you call them weirdos? That's not very kind. Just because they think differently than you, it doesn't mean that they are weirdos. Well, they don't like me. They think Sarah is great. Sarah, 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 blah, blah, blah. They speak my name in hushed tones. I know that they're talking badly about me. Commander Leah, names are powerful things. Calling someone a weirdo hurts that person. Them talking about you behind your back hurts you. You're right about that. I think the name of God that we're looking at can really help you with this. You know, we've been talking a lot about how God is Jehovah Maganenu. Maggie Mumu? No, Maganenu. Last time, the crew learned that it means the Lord is our defense. He defends us from our enemies, but there's more to it than that. The Lord is also a strong tower. Computer, can you pull up that verse? Accessing. Verse found. Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. The Bible describes God's name like a strong tower. It's described that way for a lot of reasons. The first reason it is a strong tower is that God is always true to who He is. You can count on Him. His covenant name is Yahweh, Jehovah, which means I am that I am, or I will be what I will be. It means God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. You can count on Him. Throughout Israel's history, there were a lot of guys who looked like people you could count on. People like Moses, Saul, David, and Solomon. They all seemed to start well, but they just didn't end well. Over time, they changed. It's because they weren't perfect. They had sinful hearts, like we all do. But they trusted God, who is like a strong tower that can't be moved. You can count on Him. His reputation, what is known about Him, is good. That's kind of like how I started out as everyone's favorite crew member, and now they don't seem to like me. The second reason God's name is a strong tower has to do with the last part of the verse. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. God is stronger than all of the false gods that people followed. False gods couldn't save. Only God could save. But even in Israel, people ran to false gods. One time, a prophet, a man God chose to speak for him, came to the people of Israel on a mountain called Mount Carmel. A mountain of caramel! That sounds delicious! Not Mount Caramel, Mount Carmel. That's what I said, Mount Caramel. Anyway, it is recorded in 1 Kings 18.21 that Elijah spoke to the people. It says, And Elijah came near to all the people and said, How long will you go limping between two different opinions? If the Lord is God, follow Him. But if Baal, then follow Him. And the people did not answer him a word. Elijah knew that the name of Baal was weak and that the name of Yahweh was strong. But the people didn't know what to believe. Sometimes they would run to God, and other times they'd run to Baal. To God, to Baal. Back and forth, back and forth. They couldn't decide. So he was going to show them that God was stronger. 
Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal. He told them that they would call out to God and they would call out to Baal and whichever one lit the burnt offering with fire from heaven was the one true God. Well, the prophets of Baal ran to Baal and cried out and danced all around and did all the sorts of things to get Baal's attention. But nothing happened. This went on for some time until it was Elijah's turn. Now, just so they knew God was stronger, Elijah had the people pour buckets and buckets of water on his sacrifice. He didn't want them to think that a little spark caused the fire that he knew was coming from God. He ran to the Lord and called on his name, and immediately fire came from heaven and consumed the burnt offering. Sounds like a hot mess. I'm sure it was. Well, after that, even though he knew that God was stronger, even after he won, he ran away. He ran away because Queen Jezebel, who liked Baal more than God, threatened to hurt him, but God went after him. God met him in the wilderness and fed him and then led him to a mountain. It was on the mountain that God reminded Elijah that God was stronger, that he didn't need to run away. He needed to run to God. But it says the righteous run into it and are safe. I'm a pretty great person, but I'm not perfect. I know. I know that's hard to believe. <laughs> None of us are. Jesus died and gave us his righteousness, remember? He writes his name upon us and we are his. We run to God and he makes us righteous. No matter if our name is mud, to him our name is beautiful because he has made us beautiful in Christ. Knowing that should give us joy and the joy of the Lord is our strength. Commander Leah, there you are. Why are you hiding in here? Because no one likes me. They're all whispering mean things about me because they like you better than they like me. Don't be silly. They aren't whispering mean things about you. They're whispering about a surprise party we're going to have for you. Surprise party for me? But it isn't even my birthday. No, we've decided it's no topaz day just for you. So you aren't still mad at me for that topaz thing? No, we've forgiven you. The Lord can forgive you too. He's mighty to save. In fact, Acts 4.12 says, And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. That must be it. Fleet, turn to A412 and fire thrusters. You did it! You found your way to the next point in the void! What did we avoid? You avoided... missing the party! But how am I supposed to eat cake? I'm on video! Why don't you check your inbox, Admiral Crossview? How am I supposed to eat a picture of a cake? I guess I'll have to figure that out while you talk more about God being a strong tower. I'll see you next time.